Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Here is your mathematics teacher Miss Amara from Pakistan School Muscat and I welcome you all in mathematics class of grade 4. I hope dear students you all are fine and safe. So my dear students as today we are going to study about the metric system of weight and in this class we have to learn about the conversion of kilograms into grams and conversion of grams into kilograms. The objectives of our today's lesson are by the end of the lesson we shall be able to describe units of measurement to explain purpose of measuring. We shall be able to define terms weight or mass and we shall be able to convert between units of weight. So dear students, first of all we have to learn what is mass of weight. Yes, mass is used to measure the weight of an object. For example, you are measuring the mass of your body when you step onto a scale. In the metric system of weight, the most common units of mass are kilogram. Kilogram is used to measure the weight of fruits and vegetables. Gram. Gram is used to measure the small things like a paper clip. Milligram. Milligram is a smaller unit and it is used to measure mostly the medicines. Let's learn through the examples about the conversion of units from kilogram to gram and vice versa. Dear students, vice versa means kilogram to gram and then gram to kilogram. Kg is the short form of kilogram and G is the short form of gram. So, my dear students, in the conversion of kilogram to gram, first of all, we should know about the relationship between these two units. So, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams. Kilogram is the bigger unit and gram is the smaller unit. And we know that when we convert the bigger unit to the smaller unit, always we multiply. Dear students, let's have one example and that is 26 kilogram. And we have to convert this 26 kilogram into grams. So to convert 26 kilogram into grams, we have to multiply 26 by 1000. Because we are converting the bigger unit to the smaller unit. When we multiply it by 1000, then this number will be changed into grams. And unit is very important to write with that. As dear students, to multiply any whole number with the multiple of 10 is very easy. You have to write the whole number and then the zeros that are present in the multiple of 10 you have to add with that. So this will be 26,000 grams. Now let's learn about the conversion of gram into kilogram. So 1 gram is equals to 1 upon 1000 kilogram because gram is smaller unit and kilogram is the bigger unit. So to convert gram into kilogram, we have to divide by 1000. Let's have one example. Here we have a number 6000 gram and we have to convert 6000 gram into kilogram. So we have to divide 6000 by 1000. As you know that when we have zeros, we can 
cut the zeros in the numerator and denominator. Because if they are written in the fractional form, it means we are dividing them. So, 1000 times 1 is 1000 and 1000 times 6 is 6000. So, after dividing, we get as 6 kilogram. So, dear students, after conversion, 6000 gram will be equals to 6 kilogram. I hope my dear students, you learn it very well. So, let's take the review of all the points that we had studied in our today's lesson. How we can convert the grams in kilograms? Yes, dear students, to convert the grams into kilograms, we divide by 1000. Because kilogram is the bigger unit and gram is the smaller unit. And we always divide when we move from smaller to bigger unit. So here we have one example 568 gram and we have to convert it into kilogram. So we have to divide it by 1000 and after dividing as you know that whenever we have 10, 100 or 1000 in the denominator we can move the decimal point according to the zeros. In 1000, we have three zeros, so we have to move the decimal point by three places to the left side. So, you have to remember these points. And what we have to do if we are converting the kilograms into grams? Yes, to convert the kilograms into grams, we have to multiply by 1000. Because kilogram is the bigger unit and gram is the smaller unit. And we always multiply when we convert the bigger unit to smaller unit. Here is the example. 0 0.39 kilogram is equals to grams. So we have to multiply it by 1000. My dear students, you have to remember that if we are multiplying any number by 1000, then we have to move the decimal point three places to the right side so here we have only two places after the decimal point towards the right side so we need to add one zero by ourselves if the multiplicand is the whole number then it's very much easy we can write the whole number and we can add the zeros I hope you understood it very well. Now it's your turn to practice for these type of questions. As practice makes progress not perfect. Thank you all of you my dear students. Take care. Allah Hafiz.